Lease sale property has been around since the Middle Ages and has so many issues that it took the Law Commission more than 850 pages to recommend improvements to it. But will 2024 be the year that it comes to an end? Well, maybe. Last week, the government, via King Charles, announced a new bill in its plans to phase out leasehold. And in this video, I'll share three big things that are in it, three important things that aren't, and what it means for you if you own a leasehold property or you're thinking about buying one. Quick note, this applies to England and Wales only, and this isn't a done deal. So you can track developments via our free weekly property newsletter. There's a link below this video. So according to the briefing notes accompanying the King's speech, there are three big things that are going to be in this bill. The first is that the creation of new leasehold houses, not flats, will be banned. There's really no good reason for houses to be sold as leasehold, and it's a phenomenon that was concentrated in certain parts of the country. This abolition has been on the cards for years, so the effect has already been felt as most developers have stopped selling them already. More impactful is that lease extensions will be for 990 years at standard rather than the current 90 years, with ground rent set at zero. This will be a big improvement for leaseholders and effectively mean that the lease will only need to be extended once in a property's lifetime. And thirdly, the bill contains various measures that will make leasehold transactions easier and give owners more rights. So it's going to specify a maximum time and a maximum fee for the freeholder to provide information that's required when a property is being sold. It requires transparency over service charges. It's going to require more freeholders to belong to a redress scheme and it's going to remove the requirement for the owner to have owned the property for two years before they can apply to extend the lease. So this is all good news for leaseholders, but there are three big things that were rumoured to be included that actually haven't made it in. The first of those is a cap on existing ground rents for both houses and flats. This may be added to the bill after a consultation, but it's not in there at the moment. Now, since 2022, ground rent on new leases has been set to zero by law anyway. So this is just for any leases created before that point where ground rents can be high and can contain nasty clauses like doubling every 10 years. The second thing that didn't make it in is the abolition of marriage value, which is where if you're extending a lease that has less than 80 years remaining, you have to make an additional payment to the freeholder to compensate them, which makes it much more expensive to extend a lease as soon as it drops below 80 years. And the biggest omission is that there is no ban on the creation of new leasehold flats, just houses. The government has kind of flip-flopped about whether it wants to abolish leasehold or just reform it. Their current language is phasing out, but given that the vast, vast majority of leasehold properties are flats, that seems like a long way off. Now, some MPs are apparently planning to challenge this via an amendment. There's an alternative form of tenure called common hold, where owners jointly own the land and have decision-making power, and there are no leases involved at all. This form of ownership already exists, but it's never taken off. Apparently, there are only 160 properties in England that actually use common hold. But if these MPs are successful in pushing this amendment through, presumably all new flats will be sold under common hold. So given that there is still all this uncertainty, what should you do? Well, if you are planning to extend a lease now or soon, then you should probably hold off if you can, because if this goes through, then you'll get 990 years rather than 90 for going through the same process. If you have to do it now because it's about to hit that 80 year threshold, then it's a bit of a gamble. It might be that marriage value is abolished later, but it might not be. So it may still be worth starting the process. The key date is the length of the lease on the day that you apply for the extension. And given that lease extensions take a while anyway, it's possible that this will all sort itself out in the background while you're still going through the process. So that's if you already own, but what about if you're buying? Well, if you're considering buying a new leasehold flat and you're already happy with how leasehold works, then no problem because the ground rent will already be set at zero. And when all the new consumer protection measures come in around leasehold, you'll benefit. And if you're considering buying an existing leasehold flat that does have ground rent attached, then get your solicitor to check the level of that ground rent and any clauses around future increases. Then if you're happy, go ahead and you might get a nice bonus if your ground rent is reduced by legislation that comes later. But this isn't the only important housing bill that's going to be debated in Parliament. The way that renting works in England is about to be radically overhauled and a lot of landlords don't like it at all. So watch this video next to find out what's going to happen and how it affects you.